uh, today we're going to do another square tubing video. My first one I posted a year or two ago. It's this one, this uh, 90 degree. And for this one, when you zoom in, you can see where I put a piece of aluminum in here, a piece of angle aluminum like so. And you can see the video on how I did that. I did that for extra strength. And it's also easier to do. But on this, today we're going to do one just without any kind of reinforcement. Just to check the strength of the product. Because i got some few questions on how strong will this be. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a Dremel tool and actually remove all the uh, oxidation on both on the outside of this and on the inside. I'm going to tin the inside and this edge here. Put them together, reheat it, and actually uh, braise it together at that point, like so. So, okay. So now I'm going to tin the edge of this, and then the inside. That makes the aluminum stronger because the rod is much stronger than the aluminum. So I'll apply heat, and I'll start checking it with the rod. I'm going to just like so. I want to keep the rod out of the flame like, you know, I do in all the videos. I'm going to turn this up to heat this up. temperature. I turn the torch down because I don't need to get it any hotter. Just maintain that temperature. Now I'm going to tin the edge of this and then the inside. You can't really see the inside but you'll see what's happening when I do the outside. I'll do that to both pieces, put them together and we'll make that uh, weld. Okay, we've got all the tinning done. Now I'll apply heat. Turn the torch up. Well, I'm going to keep it down while I talk. So I'm going to get both pieces up to temperature and then go across where I've uh, done the uh, grinding with the Dremel. <laughs> because this brick is keeping that side cool enough. And when I flip it over, it'll do the same thing to this side. It won't come apart. Okay. The side I just did is now on the bottom. I will do this side next. Turn the torch down once I get the rod working. Another method is just to back the heat away. If you just don't want to add, keep adding heat, you just want to maintain that temperature. And because I'm working 500 degrees below the melting point of the aluminum, very, very easy to make that weld. Now I could go vertical here, but I've already shown you that on another video. But just for the fun of it. Okay, 
cleaner. You can see that with the lighting. And then I'll just start at the bottom and work my way up. Let it get a little solid and I can draw that up. Isn't that nice? And here we go on our last uh, side. <laughs> Here is the uh, piece of square tubing I butt jointed together. Now, I'm going to put it in the vise and try to break that. So I'm going to hang it over the edge of the table here. It's not, I didn't clean it up, I just left it like that. You can always uh, grind her down and make it look nice. Uh, uh, so we'll see what happens. This will be the best way, or a good way. The tools are going to fall. Okay, uh, that's what happened. That was just butt butted together. But tin the edges, tin the inside a little bit, gives you a lot more uh, surface contact. Go past your uh, uh, clean, uh, the, butt, the joint itself, at least a half inch, three eighths of an inch, something like that. It ties the aluminum together. Because this does, this does penetrate the pore structure, the aluminum. So I'm not just doing the joint, it's draw, drawing in from this whole area. That's an acceptable butt joint on square tubing. Once again, the product HTS735 from aluminum-weld.com. You can order it off my website. I have videos on YouTube. You can find me on YouTube. Just search HTS735. This is a second generation rod. There's a lot of other products out there. This one actually works.